Well, today is the first day of school, and so um, my husband and I and our two children went to the schoolyard to drop our kids off, um, along with hundreds of other families, um, to meet the teachers for the first time. The teachers put their posters up along the fence um, with the children's names on for each of the classrooms, just so that we could all see what class our children were in. Um, and then we saw one of the teachers, or two of the teachers, who were wearing um, a costume and were uh, setting up their poster in one of the corners. This poster had feathers and it, I guess it was representing these two teachers who were, I believe, co-teaching this year. I think what they believed that it was representing was an introduction to Indigenous culture in the school. Uh, my sister's daughter was in that class and so she did uh, speak uh, to the teacher because her, her daughter wasn't comfortable wearing it. Um, the teachers were handing out little headdresses for the children to wear as well. Um, and it put uh, my niece in a very difficult position because she wanted to feel like she belonged to the class and at the same time didn't feel comfortable with it. Um, our children already at a young age have, have been taught these things um, and so she was confused and very sad and upset by it. I think it's part of a larger problem. I think cultural sensitivity training is an absolute must at this point. I mean, we're hearing about the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, the report, we're hearing about the murdered and missing Indigenous women. So these are all issues that are extremely relevant today and I think it's the teacher and the school's responsibility um, to do the right thing um, and yeah, teach, what, te teach the real history, the authentic history.